If anybody's got questions on it, I'll certainly try to answer them for you or, or get back to you with answers. Uh, I did point out a couple of things that was in the email. Our income tax collections are up, which is good, uh, but usually early in the year they're up a little higher than, than what it's settled <coughs> at the end of the year. Um, we're on target as far as the budget goes for expenditure so, so far. And our police department got a grant for, I believe it was $23,000 towards the body cameras and the car cameras. So that helps offset that $60,000 there. That's the end of my report. Anybody have any questions for our fiscal officer at this time? Okay. I'm going to try to get through this without coughing. Um, this is Mike Flickinger's engineer report. Task order number 20, the 2022 storm sewer improvement project. They continue to revise the horizontal and vertical alignments based on the conflict with the rehab facilities sanitary sewer. Um, they continue refining the grading limits to minimize the disturbed area throughout the projects. Task order 26 is the 2023 CCTV analysis. They began preparing disposal documents to solicit proposals for contractors to perform sewer cleaning and televising. The goal is to advertise Four proposals no later than March, um, so hopefully we will get back on target with our CCTV program. And that is all I have for Mike Flickinger's report at this time. Um, so if anybody has any questions, reach out to me and I will get some answers from him. I do plan on having him here um, probably in the March or April meeting. I do like to bring him in a couple times a year just to go over everything. Um, so in the next couple months, he will be here. Um, so bring all your questions. We will also, um, internally, we will be meeting with Mike just to kind of go over all the projects again like we do every couple months. So um, anybody has any questions, let me know. Next, we have our legal, uh, Mr. Jesse Schaap. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, no real update. Uh, Eric and I have worked on combining all the proposed zoning uh, code revisions. That will be coming up to you within the next week or so uh, for review, and then we'll start working on that and get your input on it through March and April, and what feedback you need, and, and we'll get on it. Other than that, I don't have anything. Anyone have any questions for Jesse? Moving on to Mr. Eric Fisher, our village planner. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just following up on what Jesse said, um, P&Z will have that for a review at the next meeting, which is the, uh, next Wednesday. Uh, after that, they uh, expect to have it kicked up to council. Uh, legislative committee will get uh, first crack at the review. Uh, we expect this to be a multi-month process. At the end of the day, uh, it should be a nice revision to the zoning code, zoning map, and uh, a lot of good things for the village. Um, on the building, proceeding along, um, we're in the stage now where they're framing. Uh, lots of the construction meetings have gotten progressively longer uh, as we get into that. Uh, usually they last an hour now when I see them. Uh, most of it's going through different little challenges they've run into with the building and you know with the merging the architects plans with you know what's practical on site sometimes um, but right now nothing to report as far as any major holdups um, or um, delays so we're moving along so I have take any questions perfect does anybody have any questions for mr. Fisher is that recorder on <laughs> Just checking. I forgot to turn mine on too a few minutes ago. So, all right. Moving on then. Our zoning officer has provided documents in the packet as well. Um, hopefully, everybody had a chance to look at that. Again, if you have any questions for our zoning officer, please reach out to him at any time. Um, and let me know if you have any problems, questions, or concerns for him. Moving on to planning and zoning, Council Person Wolf. Zoning has been working through our zoning code and making a pretty widespread review and changes. Uh, that process, as Eric and Jesse both mentioned, is nearly complete. We expect that at the 15th meeting we will have that finalized to make a recommendation to move forward on that to council. Uh, so that's that's the highlight. That meeting is on the 15th. Here at 7 p.m. Here at 7 p.m. Minerva, France. Perfect. Elementary, so. All right. Anybody have any questions up to this point? Okay. 
Um, next, we have MPCA on here, and we do not have a person listed for that yet. Um, I just realized what that was about. We can kind of talk about this in old business, new business, um, as far as who we want to be our MPCA rep. Um, and then we can also talk about if everybody wants to keep the same committees. We had on here the organizational um, thing. I don't know why it's not on. It's it, it just didn't transfer over. So we can add that somewhere. But let's get through this. And then wherever you guys want to stop and add it, we can <coughs> stop and add it. So let's go. What order do you want to do it now? Since we're going to village committee reports right now. Anybody? Anybody? Are you asking if we want to stop and do the organizational stuff? Now? Yeah, do you want to do that now before we get into these, or just go through these, then do them, do them in old business, new business, do them in the next work session? Next work session. Beautiful. I'm, you guys good with that? Okay. So everybody is still going to stay on the same committees that they're currently on. Again, if you have any problems, just let me know. Um, let's start with Council Person Wolf for Finance. Finance committee has not met. Uh, the, <coughs> we were talking about a meeting uh, here in February. Uh, we can schedule that now if we, if we so Okay. Uh, a fiscal officer will check your, I think we normally try to make it as close to like five so that you aren't staying late, right? Is that usually? That works five, and what six. Day, what, any day of the week better than another for you? Um, usually Monday through Friday. Thursday is good? Friday is good? No, Monday, Monday through Thursday. Thursday. Oh, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to Pat. Nobody uh, wants to meet at 5 o'clock on Friday. No. I, it happens. No. Um, do we want to say uh, the t whoever else is on finance committee, the 22nd, Wednesday the 22nd at 5 o'clock? I will not be available any time that week. The 19th through the 25th. I do not need to be there. I completely know what's going on. So you guys do. Yeah, I, I believe the topic at hand, uh, Jeff had indicated he had some report formats that he wanted yes. to discuss. So I, again. So it's not any high mm -hmm. policy yes. discussion. It's, no. I want to make sure you guys understand these and, and that they're easy for you, for everybody to read and look at and yeah. And, and go from there on it, okay? Does that work for everybody else uh, who cares to go to a finance committee meeting Wednesday, uh, the 22nd, 5 o'clock? At 5. Speak your, speak your opposition now. Hearing no opposition, let's, let's call that planned. Perfect. And we will get that posted tomorrow. We will work on that tomorrow. And the plan will be that we try to get it here. Okay. Next, we have council person costs for streets. Um, just basically kind of um, reiterating what Mike Flickinger said about that. We're just kind of still waiting on things. It's a little bit slower than what we would like, but we have to do it correctly. <laughs> and there's some pitfalls in there. Uh, planning on a meeting, hopefully, I don't know. When's everybody available? Do we want to wait until after the resident meeting? That's what I would do. And I think that's around March 1st. End of February, beginning of March. I can do any time in March. I'm out. I'm on call in the middle of March. The week after that, I'm out. But first or last. So beginning of March. Yeah. Do you want to do second? March 2nd? Yeah. Oh, that's totally fine with me. Who else is on services? Does anybody have a problem with March 2nd? You're talking about streets. Yes. You're talking about streets. Not streets. Not I have no idea. There's streets. Streets, yeah. Um, I will be at PNC that night. March 2nd. That would be a work session. Thursday, so it's a work session. And then Thursday is a work session. No, that is Thursday. Oh, yeah, Thursday. Like, we can't do well, why can you, what time were you suggesting on the second? Because if it's before, you can do like yeah, the hour immediately before. I know my Thursday is like. I don't know your Thursday. My Thursday's bad. It's, it's we can email back and forth because we'll also have to make sure Mike's available. Yeah. So, um. Let's see what Mike's doing. Yeah. And then we will send out an invite for everybody on that, um. 
hopefully the first week of March or the last week of March. So we will work on getting dates for that. Yeah. Might be a Friday. Oh, whatever works. And then next we have services, J.P. Martin, and I'm just going to go with, I'm not going to put you on the spot. I don't think you have anything for that yet. So if you want to schedule a meeting or something like that, um, we can kind of go through that with everybody at the end, see what dates work. That way we can all get on the same page for yours. Um, the other thing we might want to do is just make sure that, that they're not going to change. Um, so I'm not going to put you on the spot right now. <laughs> next, um, do you have anything you want to say, though? I don't want to cut you off. No? Okay. Next, we have um, council person camera for recreation and parks. Okay, so uh, the pool is the big thing right now. We're getting ready to launch um, the website for registration for March 1st. Um, and we are trying to integrate the payment system into that this year so that we're not taking payments over the phone. Um, everything's looking good. I think we'll finalize a lot of that tomorrow. Um, and be able to start selling on the first, which is great. Um, we ran into a snag with the slide. It looks like with the new health regula regulations, it's going to be pretty expensive, more than we anticipated. So, um, and the location that we've had the previous slide, there are not many choices uh, in a three feet foot deep section anymore. So uh, according to Ohio Department of Health, um, so we are looking at alternatives, or maybe not even doing it, just depending on where we move forward with the pool um, in the future. Um, and then I think we were just finalizing, making sure that the uh, proposal for plant beds was within our budget, do you know if that, for weeding and all that stuff? We have we the, the we one that I sent you guys. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Did we do the PO for that yet? Not yet. Okay. Um, Not that I'm aware of. No, we didn't because the only thing that's missing out of there is we did get it, um, yes. but we asked them to revise it to add the pool spraying. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So that's the only reason we haven't moved forward on that. So as soon as they add in the pool spraying, gotcha. um, okay. yes, we are good to go. Yeah, and we are going to, our plan is to do it the way that he revised it, to do right. it like every two weeks. Right. So Just we'll made more sense. Two big maintenance, one yep. spring, one fall, and then yes. summer. Yes. They'll do maintenance. Correct. Weeding and whatnot mm -hmm. throughout the summer. So. Yes. Cool. So, yeah, we're just waiting on that final thing from making sure that we get the clover this uh, year so we do not get to, stung yeah. by bees yep, yep. at the pool. Um, that's pretty much it right now as far as updates from last Thursday. And I do not have an update yet from Aquadoc. Um, that email has been sent more than once, and I actually reached out via phone to make sure they got my email, so we are working on it. All right, next we have safety, Council Person McNamara. Madam Mayor, members of Council, um, there is a safety meeting scheduled for the 13th, uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, I believe. Um, that I'm assuming we'll do with the administrative, the temporary office building mm -hmm. that way. Um, and um, I will report back on the results of said meeting afterwards. Perfect. We will get that posted. That was the email that we were asking, yeah. making sure that was it just a, so yes, we will get that posted. And 3,700. We'll you know. Yeah, 3,700 is where we planned okay. on. Perfect. That was my thought, because kids will be in school this kind of day. Yes, Monday. definitely. We will get like civics extra credit if we do it here, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's true. All right. Um, let's move to <coughs> Council President Brueger for legislation. All right. Um, our next legislative meeting is February 23rd at 6.15. It'll be here at Minerva, France, uh, most likely up in the library, although, yeah, I imagine that's where it would be. Um, uh, the last one, we uh, went over some of the legislation for this evening, and as it's on the third reading and discuss whether uh, we wanted to modify it at all. We did not make any modifications to it. And uh, this is just the last two little bits of what legislation on our third meeting that we've had left over from the end of last year. And so far we haven't started our new year rush on it, so not much to report. Perfect. 
All right, we will move to my mayor's report. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Super excited about the progress over at the building. Um, if you haven't seen it, drive by there. There's all kinds of fun little things going up. Um, could not be any more excited about pool season. Um, so we will be working on all those things here shortly. And then um, we will start putting some updates in the newsletter beginning next month, uh, reminding people about cutting their grass and reminding people of some of our ordinances and things like that. So hopefully... Um, we get the message out sooner rather than later. Um, if you have questions regarding Rita, please reach out to Rita. Um, as a village, we do as much as we possibly can to remind people that they are to pay their Rita taxes. Um, we pay Rita taxes, if you aren't aware. Um, feel free to reach out to us. We will help you get in contact with them. So um, we've gotten several emails over the last couple weeks that people were not aware that have lived in the village for years. So um, all I can say is we do as much as we possibly can. We put it in the newsletter. Um, we talk about it in these meetings in, uh, as many times as we possibly can. I don't know, other than going door to door, what we can do. We have an income tax, and it's collected by Rita. And I would just point out an important differentiation. We don't pay Rita taxes. Correct. We, we pay yes. Minerva Park taxes. <laughs> to Rita. Rita is Collects just it. the collection agency because <laughs> we don't have staff to do our own in-house taxes. And that's why I have you. It, yeah, it's, it's important <laughs> not to think we're paying taxes to some third party out there. Yes. We're paying taxes to our, ourselves. It's just yes. we hired someone to collect them. Correct. Um, they actually sent out letters very recently, so I think that was the reason. Um, a lot of people got some of these letters that were delinquent. Um, so again, if you have problems, questions, concerns, feel free to reach out to us. We will help you get into contact with who you need to. Um, but again, this is just a friendly reminder that we do in fact pay income tax. Um, and I guess I'm not going to go any further into that. So next we have citizen comments. Is there anybody that would like to speak on anything? All right. Oh, I got the big timer ready and everything. Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> But hello, citizens. Uh, yeah, it, we're so happy you're here. Yeah. All right. Um, then next, let's move to our legislation for the evening. All right. Just two things on the agenda for this. Uh, resolution 2023-04, a resolution directing the mayor to prepare bid documents, organize public bidding, and evaluate responsive bids for construction of a maintenance building on village-owned property. Um, this is the opening bid phase, so we do not have a dollar amount because we're not approving anything. Uh, we do have the building not to exceed 27 square, 2,700 square feet, excuse me. Uh, that building would be placed on the southeast corner of Maplewood, down where Maplewood swings by where the golf course used to be in that little, little bit of land back there in the corner. Um, this is a third reading, so I'm going to move that we pass. Second. Moved and seconded. Anyone with any discussion on this? Looks like we're ready for a vote. All right. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Council President Brueger. Aye. Councilperson Koss. Aye. Councilperson Camera. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. And Councilperson Wolf. Aye. All right, moved and passed. Moving on to our last bit of legislation for the evening, Resolution 2023-05, a resolution directing the mayor to prepare bid documents, organize public bidding, evaluate responsive bids, and enter into agreement not to exceed $75,000 with the lowest and best bidder for construction of a shelter house at parcel 113-002369, dash reserve H, or as it is more colloquially known, that field across the street from the basketball courts. Um, this is also a third reading, and I will move for passage. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on the proposed shelter house? Just like I said in the work session, I think it's, you know, just important to reiterate once again that we're going to you know, do the best we can for uh, the noise mitigation, as we talked about with the nearby uh, stakeholders and property owners. Yep, which is, I believe, uh, is already under discussion is already underway with them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. I think we're ready then. 
Councilperson Wolf. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. Councilperson Camera. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Council President Brueger. Aye. And Councilperson Koss. Aye. All right. All right. That is all the legislation I had on my packet. All right. Anybody with any old business? Man, you guys are easy tonight. All right. Any new business? Move to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Did not foresee that happening. I didn't either. And thank you again for. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to say it, but... That's okay, right? That's the good news. Meeting. Who am I trying to schedule a meeting? So, meeting for what? I'm going back to this password. Yes. They want a capital... No, wait. I'm going to show you what I'm about. All that is for is shut that. That's you. just to get in. You don't, have, you don't even really yeah. want to set up things. That, all that is this. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Those 300, you will put the whole shed out there. Well, that was supposed to be this whole thing. If you're 300 square feet. Oh, okay. Because it's going to have to be eight. Yeah, because it has to be eight characters. Look, we're not even We're not even doing our own mulch beds. How much How much room do you need? How much shed do you need? And we're not even doing our own mulch beds. A lot of sheds. The more the merrier. Yeah. We have a lot of equipment. We'll have this. Oh, 20 years down the road. Uh, this one too. Uh, she lives uh, sorry? That one too. I mean, I yep. mine still There you go. Now start putting in, you can just put your own stuff in there. So, but this is how you get in. You're in you. that. Early okay. gavel down and get the heck out. Absolutely. Hey, Barbie, do you have like plugs or something?